Alright. So Arena Trap got banned. Again. Third time in a row for <laughs> this generation. It's incredible. It's clearly consistent. And quite frankly, you know, it, it has to be said. Doug Creo's Arena Trap is something that strains tears naturally. And um, this was no difference. Doug Creo is still to this day like one of the best trappers in the game and uh, in Spoken you it actually defined a niche quite quite effectively um, now it should be stated that it, whether or not it's a niche is for debate but I, I would say trapping is a niche as a playstyle but you know holding a niche in Spoken you is something to always be scared about and which is why I always try to cover it as something that should always consider whether or not it is Something that ruins the meta or enrich it. And it's moving on you, it, it's hard to say that it enriches it. Anything is just strange to tear and makes the tear itself smaller because the Pokemon's in it has to be able to deal with something like this. So there has been some worrying, and I believe all those worryings are fair. Um, the main niche, or the main worry, not niche, the main consent is that. Okay, Toxapex will now be more viable than ever, and Toxapex will be more viable than ever. The combination with Toxapex and Corviknight is something to always be considered rather scary. But, Smogon OU also opens the door to something that hasn't been able to thrive, and that is something that's going to thrive now, because these two defensive wall breakers that... Um, are to be considered one of the best electric types introduced in some time, always has been slower than that trio and suffered for it. Draco Salt and to Toxtricity, I was going to Toxtricity, Toxtricity are two Pokemon that naturally deal with the best core in the game, but always suffer because that core carries that trio. It is whether or not that core will be as effective as people are fearing, and also Cinderace will be all the more viable this, this time. Because Cinderace is slower than Trio, risk of getting trapped, can't you turn out before getting Kato unless you're scarfed, which is something that Cinderace don't want to do. We want to use the heavy duty boots and uh, Dug Trio exploit that to no end. So seeing Dug Trio go, it is fair because it does open up a door for a Pokemon that has been probably a bit too strong for Yu Yu anyway, and seeing them come into a scene where they can work and possibly thrive, yeah. It's invaluable in so many ways, and um, yeah, it's it's great. The only like issue I have, and it's something that uh, it has to do with Arena Trap being banned as a whole, because I do recognize that banning Arena Trap only for or you will mean Dark Trio will be as menacing in Yu Yu and no keep moving downward. This is a Pokemon that will end, end up you much like the last generation, because outside of Arena Trap, it really isn't that dangerous. We have another arena trapper which is more of a niche than a viable Pokemon. And that is Trap Inch. Trap Inch automatically becomes less viable as a whole because of this niche. This generation you got first impression, and it is a Pokemon with 100 base attack. First impression there will sting. And um, Earthquake is quite fair. This is a Pokemon that was considered potentially banned from RU because of what it did to Gigalith. Eagle was the most viable Pokemon in in RU, and it got eventually banned, which still is debatable whether or not that was the right call. Uh, but it was one thing it had that was really good was that it took out Tuzzanade with, uh, with ease and basically paved the way for some teams to work really effective in RU, but also dealt with Turtonade, which was one of the best shell smashers in both in you and are you so yeah, yeah about that like <laughs> it's a scary font and this is um, it feels a really really defined niche but it also carved itself to be an interesting play style for individual pokemons so i find it unfortunate the trap inch had to go but the overarching theme is all things considered that the arena trap is too broken for smogon or you hence we can't have it lower down either because that tree will follow those those tiers, but uh, trap inch is still in essence viable. The choice better set is still just as good, but not being able to trap something is hurting its viability to an extent. But I do believe it has um, other abilities. I do believe this Pokemon gets sheer force, so it, it will have possibly a niche anyway. But 
maybe it isn't as mighty now that it can't trap anything. And like I said, there are very few Pokemon have, who has a first stage Pokemon set that actually deals with defining Pokemon of the tier such a Gigalith. It was incredible. I think that's a absolute love story that we're not gonna see again. Um, trapping has always been banned in Smogon tiers and for all the right reasons. Uh, it kills crea creativity for any any game. It is just that simple. Um, it limits the meta and it makes the meta harder to use. Trapping didn't have that effect in RU but in Smogon OU it is a limited tier by default and exploiting something like this now before even Blixie or Chansey and whatnot get available yeah, I think I think it's a good call to already kind of establish that that's not the place that we want to see Sprite. So with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A bit of a bite size of my thoughts about the um, ban itself. I think it's fair and I think it's going to be extremely rewarding moving on from this day. Smoke and OU is going to be a lot more diverse and um, I already have a like, small feeling of which Pokemon is going to thrive better than ever and I couldn't be happier. So, with that said, I really want to thank you guys for as always for watching. Enjoy yourself and have a great day. Take care, everyone. Bye.